Welcome to Euroactive's Tweets of the Week. This week in Salzburg, Theresa May makes a splash. On migration, Asselborn and Salvini clash and Macron's rolling in merchandise cash. This episode is supported by the European Copper Institute. Find out more about them at the end. So this week it was all eyes on Salzburg as EU leaders gathered for an informal council meeting to discuss migration, internal security and, of course, Brexit. Despite being given only 10 minutes to plead her case, British Prime Minister Theresa May made all the headlines by saying she was willing to walk away without a deal. May ruled out extending Article 50, saying, We all recognise that time is short, but extending or delaying these negotiations is not an option, reported Darren McCaffrey. In happier scenes, Danny Kemp reckoned Tusk was finally going for the cake and cherries joke. Max Hoffman summed up the summit, saying a November summit on Brexit was confirmed. Egypt is the new hope for disembarkation platforms, according to Juncker, and the mood seems to be significantly better than in recent past. Bad news then for Burley Monster and his hope to use an Insultsburg headline. But the Irish border account reckons Mozart remains the best thing to come out of Salzburg. Elsewhere, a war of words erupted between Italian Deputy Prime Minister Matteo Salvini and Luxembourgish Foreign Minister Jean Asselborn. In a meeting on migration last Friday, Salvini said, In Italy, there's the need to help our youth to have kids, not to have new slaves to replace children we're not having. To which Hasselborn retorted, In Luxembourg, we had Italian migrants who worked so you had money to pay for your children. The Twitter sphere was pretty evenly split between those supporting Salvini's truth bomb and those praising Asselborn for, in the words of one Twitter user, speaking out against this madman. Italy does not deserve this vile man as vice president. Fascism is back and it's very, very ugly. Your active Sam Morgan got busy on Photoshop. Hopefully Asselborn will wear this on a t-shirt next time he sees Salvini. Meanwhile, the African Union, yep, the entire continent, has demanded an apology from Salvini for comparing African immigrants to slaves. Finally, want a get-rich-quick scheme? Stick Macron's face on a t-shirt and boom! The Elysee Palace gift shop launched a new range of Macron-branded souvenirs and made €350,000 in just three days. The gift shop, which is also available online, sells €55 Euro t-shirts and €250 Euro gold bracelets, as well as colouring books of the Macrons and their dog, and a mug for €25. Euros. Guardian writer Pauline Bock was unimpressed, saying Macron merchandise takes the French for mugs. Mimi Pinson says he's more bling than Sarkozy, but Paul Dallison said the real tragedy is that the sweet delicacies are not called Macron's Macron's. And if €25 Euros for someone's face in a mug is too much for you, bargain, €5. Euros. This week, we are sponsored by European Copper. This EU Green Week, find out how copper helps cities become more sustainable and smarter by following the hashtag ThinkCopper. And that's it for this week. Join me again next Friday for more snarks and larks in the Brussels bubble Twittersphere. Ha <laughs> ha!